on students i am gopal head of the department of humanities and science okay now uh, today we discuss a problem uh, based on bisection method in last class we have to see the bisection method so what is the bisection method here the bisection method uh, is used to find a algebraic and a transcendental equations solution or zero or root okay so in in generally the bisection method in bisection method we have to find out here already i am written here so find out the interval interval uh, in which the root lies by using trial and error method okay uh, here we have to find out uh, that we use that side that type of the uh, concept here means f of a and f of b both are opposite signs so definitely one root is in between a and b we use that concept so here the given problem is find a root of equation x square minus 4x minus 9 equal to 0 using bisection method and correct it into 4 or 5 decimal places or 3 decimal places means we have to take uh, after the point uh, 4 points okay yeah we will see in last uh, means uh, in conclusion yeah let f of x we assume this is f of x left hand side f of x equal to x square minus 4x minus 9 equal to 0 we have to find the interval in which the root lies by trial or error method what is the meaning of the trial or error method here we have to substitute now that is when we have to substitute x equal to 0 so we get minus 9 when we have to substitute x equal to 1 here x equal to 1 here x equal to 0 when x equal to 0 we get negative value so when x equal to 1 we get negative value so when uh, x equal to 2 we get a negative value so when x equal to 3 we get positive value so therefore we consider this interval which interval 2 comma 3 so why because f of 2 we have the negative value that is minus 9 and f of 3 we get positive so therefore we consider the interval 2 comma 3 means a root lies between 2 and 3 okay so uh, in we have to draw a, a graph so this is 2 this this point is 2 and uh, it, it 2 the function having the negative value means the value is in fourth coordinate and x equal to 3 the value is positive so that value is in second sorry first coordinate now this is the so yeah this is the graph for example this is the imagination not it is a perfect graph but uh, we have this kind of graph so means here f of 2 having the negative value and f of 3 having the positive value so definitely one root in between the interval 2 and 3 the graph of the function the, the graph of the function is intersecting on x axis some point we have to search that point by using bisection method okay so here now we have to find out the first approximation we have to find out the first approximation root the first approximation is denoted by x1 x1 equal to 2 plus 3 by 2 so this is equal to 2.5 and at this point we have to find out the function value yes we have to find out the function value at this x1 what is x1 here x1 equal to 2.5 yeah what is the function here the function f of x equal to so sorry now the question is this is x power 3 please correct this one x cube minus 4x minus 9 so therefore x cube 2.5 whole cube minus 4 2.5 minus 9 yeah now the, the the root lies between 2 and 3 so therefore the first approximation the first approximation is x1 equal to 2 plus 3 by 2 means 2.5 we have to find out function value at this root so therefore f of x1 f of x1 is not equal to 0 means so here x1 equal to 2.1 2.5 is a not a root but what is this value this is negative so negative means at 2.5 the function value is negative right so this is the first approximation now coming to this interval the interval is 2 2 to 3 so this 2 to 3 is divided into two parts this is the first part and this is the second part 
when x equal to 2 the function value is negative when x equal to 2.5 function value is negative so therefore the root not lies between in this interval and uh, so we delete this this interval now we consider 2.5 to 3 means at x equal to 2.5 function value is negative uh, when x equal to 3 function value is positive so therefore the root lies between in this interval 2.5 and 3 and we have to find out the next approximation yeah now students so since f of 2 here f of 2.5 is negative f of 3 is positive so therefore the root lies between 2.5 and 3 means in in between this interval 2.5 to 3 okay then the second approximation we have to uh, approximate the next root so by using the same pattern x2 equal to 2.5 plus 3 by 2 so 2.775 is the next approximate root now we have to find out the that value means function value at that point 2.75 so therefore f of 2.75 equal to we get 0.7969 so which is positive so therefore this is 2.75 so at this point the function having positive value so means again 2.5 and 3 is divided into again the two intervals and at x equal to 2.5 function value is positive at x equal to 3 function value is positive so therefore root not lies between in this interval so therefore so we consider only this interval means the next approximation root is lies between 2.5 and 2.75 why because to at x equal to 2.5 the function value is negative at x equal to 2.75 function value is positive so according to bisection method so the, the f of a and f of b here f of a and f of b both are having the opposite sign so therefore one root definitely lies between this in this interval which interval 2.5 and 2.75 yes so the root lies between 2.5 and 2.75 okay now we have to approximate the next root then the next root next approximation root is x3 so therefore 2.5 plus 2.75 by 2 so this is equal to 2.625 and uh, at this point the function value what is the function value here this function value is negative so therefore this is yeah now this is 2. Point, yes this value is 2.627 so 6 to 5 at this point the function value is negative yeah this function value is negative so therefore the root not lies between 2.5 and 2.625 the root is lies between 2.625 and 2.75 yes now what is the next approximation the next approximation root is lies between 2.625 and 2.75 the student yeah now the root lies between 2.625 and 2.75 and uh, i am uh, reconstruct this graph okay so 2.625 and 2.75 at this point the function value is negative at this point the function value is positive so what is the next approximation here so the next approximation of the root of the root is x4 2.625 plus 2.75 by 2 this is equal to 2.6875 and we have to find out at this point the function value which is negative so therefore the point this is the point 2.6875 at this point the function value is negative so therefore so now this interval now the root is lies between 2.6875 and 2.75 okay so why because here both uh, values are negatives so therefore root not lies between this interval so that's why we consider only this interval so now definitely one root is in between 2.6875 and 2.75 the next approximation yes now we have to find out so therefore the root lies between 2.6875 and 2.75 the next approximation is 
x5 this is equal to so this one 2.71875 okay now we have to find out the function value at this point f of 2.71875 equal to this value this is positive so in this interval now the next approximation is uh, 2.71875 so at this point the function value is positive okay so therefore so we discovered this interval so why because the both uh, uh, this in, in this interval both values are positives so we consider only 2.676875 and 2.71875 the root lies between in this intervals yes we have to find out the next step the root lies between 2.6875 and 2.71875 means we have to find out the next approximation in this interval which interval this interval okay just students the root is uh, lies between 2.6875 and 2.71875 yeah again we reconstruct this graph of the function yes the root lies between this interval the next approximation it is denoted by uh, x6 this is equal to 2.703125 okay now we have to find out function value at, at this uh, at this point the function value is negative so what is the point here this is uh, 2. 2.703125 at this point the function value is negative so therefore we discord this interval we consider only this interval so therefore the root is lies between in this intervals so therefore now here i'm, re I'm written here the root lies between 2.703125 and 2.71875 in this interval okay so now the next approximation the next approximation is uh, denoted by x7 and that point is 2.71094 and we have to find out the function value at this point so therefore the function value is this one yes now this is the interval yes this is the point which uh, what is the point here 2.71094 at this at this point the function value is positive so therefore we discard this interval the root is lies between in this interval so which interval 2.703121 and 2.71094 yeah what is the next approximation here the the root lies between yeah this points which point 2.702.7031 yes 3125 and 2.71094 yeah we have to find out the next approximation yeah now students now this is the uh, next approximation uh, to the root x i equal to 2. Point, uh, this one 2.703125 plus 2.71094 divided by 2 we get this one and we have to find out function value at this point so therefore we get this is the function value this function value 0 0.009 means it is approximately equal to 0 so means uh, now this this is the this is the graph yes this point this what is this point this is 2.70703 at this point the function value value is approximately equal to 0 so therefore now x uh, now what is this one yes x8 equal to 2.70703 is approximate root of so the given equation x cube minus 4x minus 9 equal to 0 so this is not exact value this is approximate value we have to find out the approximate root of the given algebraic equation now students now this is the process of finding the approximations the roots of the given algebraic or transcendental equations i will give one of the problem and solve that problem and uh, uh, upload in wits connector app dear students now this is the assignment 
फाइंड ए रूट ऑफ द इक्वेशन एक्स क्यूब माइनस एक्स माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो बाय यूजिंग बाइशिक्शन मेथड एंड फाइंड ए रूट ऑफ द इक्वेशन एक्स ई पावर एक्स माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो यूजिंग बाइशिक्शन मेथड सो फर्स्ट वन इज द ऑल्जिब्रिक इक्वेशन सेकंड वन इज द ट्रांसलेंटल इक्वेशन द दिस इज आल्सो द सेम प्रोसेस वी हैव टू सब्सिट्यूट एक्स वैल्यूज एंड वी गेट अप्रोक्सिमेट वैल्यूज ओके द थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी शेल डिस्कस the next method regular falsi method in next class thank you